Welcome back everybody to another video. In this video, we are I'm gonna show you guys how to um, make everything in DTSX and I'll elaborate more on it. So, but typically, obviously, you're gonna need a audio video receiver or a processor that is pretty much anything that's 4K receiver, 4K processor and above, they all should be able to have DTSX. And the other thing is you need to have an Xbox One console and above. So that's your Xbox One, your Xbox One S, your Xbox One X, your Xbox Series S, your Xbox Series X. So pretty much you're, you're going to need an Xbox console to be able to do this. And then your console is going to have to be uh, directly connected to your processor or receiver, such as this one here is my Arcam AVR550 here. This is what I'm using to demonstrate this. Um, so bad news. If you don't have Xbox, you're going to have to get an Xbox console. Good news is um, for those who have an Xbox already and don't know about this, this is what you do. So here, here on the let my receiver decode audio, make sure that's off on your settings. And then for your, for your HDMI, make sure you allow pass through here. It's not checked. Make sure that's unchecked right then you're gonna go to this audio setup here go to DTSX here and then do your your testing here to make sure that it's running properly right so and I'm gonna show you what else not to do so a lot of times um, <clears throat> a lot of these things are enable so you pretty much if you pretty much unable all that I just showed you like here don't pass it to the receiver right so then when you watch a content in like a Netflix streaming Amazon streaming all that it's gonna be all DTSX right when you play video games it's gonna be all decoded in DTSX and yes it's not gonna be true DTSX because that depends on what the source is but nevertheless I've done a lot of tests um, with it and from from my finding DTSX is still better than the original um, the original sound so that didn't have DTSX whether that's for uh, streaming movies, TV shows, or video games. Now, for those who don't know about DTSX, and it's kind of like people's preference, but Dolby Atmos is, if you like Dolby Atmos, my personal opinion, DTSX is just a little bit better than that. Don't get me wrong, DTS. Um, don't get me wrong, Dolby Atmos is phenomenal, but DTSX is, in my opinion, um, a little bit superior, a little bit better than Dolby Atmos. And also, yes, it does kind of depend on your receiver or processor. For instance, I noticed that on my older Yamaha, my Avantage, the it's a 4K Yamaha receiver I've noticed that so when I watch Dolby Atmos it's super superior and loud right when I put in a movie that has DTS X coding such as I believe the last the last witch hunter but I think that's what it's called with Vin Diesel and then the other one was uh, Kevin Hart's night school those two discs had DTS X decodes and when I did, when I watched those movies, 
um, on GTS X, it wasn't as loud as it as as if I had it in Dolby Atmos. So I thought that that Dolby Atmos was far superior. But in that case, it was. Then I realized that when I watched it in DTS on my other processor and receivers, it was totally the opposite. So keep that in mind. It also depends on your receiver or processor. And DTS X, if you haven't tried it, try it. That's gonna pretty much wrap it up for this video, guys. Like, subscribe, comments below, keep it friendly and constructive. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hit it, dragons out.